Okay, so a lot of people ask me how I do my side, um, how I do my side fringe. So right now I'm just going to show you guys how I do it. All I do is just instead of going straight across like this, I curve it upwards. That way once I'm done and I try to pull it back, it'll look natural like it's my real hair. So that's all I do. So when you're starting to become like to come to the front of your hair, just start curving them upward. Not a lot. All you need is a little bit extra. Like on this side, it's curved up a little bit. And then by the end of the um, end of the video, you'll see how, how um, natural it looks. So I'm just gonna get started. Whoops. But yeah. I think that's so far. Okay, um, I'm back. I'm sorry, you guys, that I did not do, that I, um, did not record it while I was doing it, but it's just getting really late now, and I'm just getting tired. I think I started, like, at 7.40. It's now 12 o'clock. Didn't have time to just keep, keep doing every piece by piece just to, you know, get it on camera. But, um, my braiding pattern was the same for all my videos. I basically parted my head in half and then did five braids going straight down and connected them and then four braids on this side going straight down and connected them and then in the back I did a beehive which was just a regular circle around and around and around but um for uh this style since I had a side bang I braided this up and then left the edges out right here and I also left the edges out on this side but it's blending in very well just because of the way I do my sides. When I'm doing my sides and I bring my hair to the front, I curve it up a little bit. I showed you guys a picture earlier. Let me see if I can find one right here. Hmm. Here we go. Here we go. You see how it's curved up? I curve it up so then that way if I were to pull it back, it would look natural. Just like, let me show you the side, the side too. You see how natural that looks? So yeah, that's my reason for curving, curving it up when I'm coming up to the front sides. But um, I only got two more tracks left. <coughs> and so once I get done with the tracks, I'm not gonna style it or cut it or do anything. I'm just gonna go to sleep. And then in the morning I'll do something to it and I'll show you guys what I do. But yeah, if you've seen all my other videos, they're, my hair product, my hair braiding pattern is pretty much the same. I'm trying not to talk too loud because everybody else is asleep, so. But I'm not that low. But yeah, this is how it's coming out so far. And the hair I used is by, it's actually the same hair too that I used in two videos. I used the same hair. It's by Encore. Uh, this time I used all 12 inch. Um... In my first one, I had 14 and 16, and then in my second one, I had a 10 inch when I was doing the invisible part, and now then this one is just all 12 inch. This part, this is gonna be um my last my last weave probably for a good two months. I'm ready to see my hair down. The only reason why I have my hair up is because I play tennis every day, and you know I can't be dealing with all the sweat in the hair and all that. 
So, but once it starts getting cold, it will be down. Okay, so I'm finally finished with my hair. It's a little long. So now I'm just going to flat iron it. Okay, so let me, guys, let me show you guys the side. Here's the side. Let me show you guys the other side. And here's the other side. But um, at the top right here, there's no hair left out. So you can see, no hair left out. <laughs> 